Hi everyone, my name is Kendrick and welcome to Inner Female. Today I get to interview Savannah. So Savannah, welcome. Hi, I'm happy to be here. I like your name, it's really cool. It's like the African Savannah, you know, like it's... Like, yeah, scenic, right? Yeah, very scenic. You get a visual of like what's going... No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, how long ago did you get your typing? I actually forgot, I don't remember. No worries. That's a good example of, you know, feminine SE, but like, uh, <laughs> what is your full, what is, what is your full type? Uh, T-E-S-E, um, F-M, so visual, and um, play, blast, sleep, consume, last. <laughs> you are a jumper ENTJ. Yes. Uh, what did you think and how did you feel when you got your typing results back? So I was pretty sure I was F-E. Um, and when I've done like different Myers-Briggs quizzes, I always got feeler because I'm such a people person and I'm so in tune with how people operate that I just assume that means I'm a feeler. Um, and Shannon had to kind of convince me and explain that I think logically and how things work in reality and how they work for everybody. Even though I'm still aware of how people feel and what's going on. I, my solutions are grounded in reality, you know? And then I didn't understand feminine sensory at all. I just thought it was NE because the way that I use SE with NI is always like an intuitive, you know, it goes hand in hand. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, you know, masculine SE is completely different than feminine SE. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't feel like savior at all <laughs> very, very different um do you think that you thought that you were like a feeler because that you have feminine fi so your emotion is very movable yeah um and i do just like feel for people you know like i if someone's upset like i i really want to help them out in fact i feel like I, i'm responsible for that but i don't i don't lift the vibe okay so here's the thing there's a lot of tribe people in my family i have three brothers, a sister, and my dad is also like tribe, you know, to heck. And um, so whatever I was doing, I knew they weren't doing that. You know what I mean? Whatever I'm doing. So it made sense to me once I understood really what FE does, that I'm TE and they're doing FE. You know what I mean? So, so they lift vibe and they make a joke immediately and everyone's laughing and I'm still like, oh, but does everyone want water? Um, Oh, Are you okay? Yeah. Do you need a band-aid? You know, <laughs> I was that thinking kind of, in reality and they're kind of the aware too. of the mood. Yeah. Yeah, that kind of kills the vibe when you're like, you got out of that. <laughs> it really does. I'm not as fun as they are. <laughs> um, well, why don't we start with that then? Um, you have ST play. So what is ST play? Like, how do you experience ST play? Um, so, I mean, I used to use it more when I like meet somebody new. I love meeting new people and I love getting to know them. So I just play, it's almost like playing a game where I just go back and forth and learn things about them. And I'm, I guess I'm like mining for information. And then when it comes to like talking to friends or yeah, it's problem solving just all day long. Like, let's come up with a solution. Let's figure this out. And I just, I do, I feel like it's a game. <laughs> but it's probably a more nerdy game than any FE. <laughs> I, um, Anissa said that the SD play is uh, it's like dad jokes. So do you like dad jokes and stuff? Yeah. I think I'm funny even if nobody's laughing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I also really like um, recurring jokes. So you, you bring up something. I'm trying to think of one. Oh, okay. So when we went to, when we went, when I was with my family, my mom said something about um, this certain rock formation and just, she's trying to explain it. And she said something like, it's, it's just every calendar. <laughs> I just thought that was the funniest way to explain. <laughs> so every time we could bring it up, I'd just be like, it's every calendar. Like, <laughs> never mind. It's only funny in context. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> I, I think I'm. I also noticed like SD plays like a lot of like, like, like when you're making a joke, it's like about like 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 how something looks or the or like the size of something. You know, there's like a lot of size jokes. You know, it's like you know, 
Like that's what I noticed with like ST sure. play. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I'm trying to think of an example of that. I don't know. Sometimes it's funny to say something really obvious and monotone, like a robot, you know, like the ST robot, like, yeah. um, but it's just dry humor. That's always really funny too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what SD play is. Uh, <laughs> you're masculine with a tribe, so like talk about how like you get really punchy with, with people and, and stuff. Um, I mean, it's just funny because you don't really know what you're doing until you kind of get like that reaction of like, oh wow, that was a strong punch, but um, so like I see my masculine TE as like very protective of people and then like I'm speaking for the group, right? I'm the representative. So sometimes if I feel like I need to speak up and people need to listen to me, it can come off really, I don't know how to explain it, direct Aggressive. and maybe people weren't expecting that. And then, um, yeah, I don't beat around the bush. I just go right to it. And sometimes people are like, well, or sometimes I'll just, I mean, this is also double masculine blast would just be like, oh, do we have a problem? <laughs> and like, maybe you're supposed to like privately talk about it, but <laughs> I would just be more direct because it's more efficient. You just don't have to like, oh, someone's upset. I guess we'll just mouse around their feelings. No, you can just be direct. <laughs> And then I guess defending people. If I feel like um, somebody precious who needs to be protected isn't standing up for themselves, that's when you can see my masculine TE blast really come out. You yeah, also just don't have, my family, you know what I mean? <laughs> you also have double activated masculine blast. So what is that like? Talk a lot. Um, the NI is masculine too. So it's more, um, how can we make this narrowed down and happen? Do you know what I mean? Um, so I usually have like some picture in my mind of how the NI is going to go. And then I think about how it's going to work for everybody. And it really is solid in my mind. So if anybody really kind of has a disagreement, I'm like, why? This works. This works for everybody. This works long term. <laughs> I'm doing everyone as a, f a favor if you don't debate it, you know? <laughs> yeah. Um, your, your NI is not just masculine, it's, it's masculine. So that means like what you see in the future is very solid. Uh, yeah. And then when you execute it, you're very confident about it. So um, and it's also blaster, right? So you're like, do you give blaster lessons to people because it's double activated, would you say? I learned people don't want to hear what I have to say sometimes. So I've had to tone it down. <laughs> but yeah, I just had free information all the time. But I also feel like sometimes if I just do that every so often, then I'm the go-to. People come to me. And they're the ones who want to know, hey, what's the best this? Hey, where, where do you get this? Hey, what is this? And I'm like, I narrowed it down. This is what works for everybody. Pretty neutral. You know, <laughs> like, I don't feel like this is the most popular necessarily. But if it is the most popular, I got to make sure it works, you know? Right. Um, you have, um, what do you call it? You have... Uh... Even though you have double activated blast and it's double masculine, you're still play savior and uh, yeah. you, you're technically an EJ EP. So talk about being like, you know, a little bit chaotic. Um, you know, what kind of chaos, yeah. like talk about your chaos side of you, you know? <laughs> um, chaos. I don't know. Uh, it's weird too because my NI is double activated. So a lot of times it's more like, Organized chaos. That sounds really weird, but I have like a high level of chaos tolerance that I can handle. And sometimes I like it. So I just like when there's um, more going on, more people, more stuff happening. Um, 
if we're gonna buy one, why not buy three so that we have a couple extra? Uh, I don't know. I really like multitasking. In fact, sometimes I can't get things done if I'm not only just doing one thing. And sometimes that can be really chaotic. <laughs> And I am, uh, I, I used to kind of classify myself as like overly ambitious and underproductive. So I think I can get 20 things done in a day and I can only get 10 done, but I got 10 things done. <laughs> yeah. That's still really good. It's just kind of like my brain has too many tabs open. Yeah. I have to close some of them. <laughs> yeah. Uh so you have trouble narrow, narrowing things down because of that, like play first. Like yeah, but I have feel obligated as well, which is crazy. But yeah, it's stressful. Is that because you're a double observer? So you're balanced with like gathering and organizing, you know, control and chaos? Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, I feel like I can ping back and forth pretty well, but sometimes it can get stressful because I want more, but I have to narrow down. But I want more, but I have to narrow down. What about this? All these details but what about we just want to narrow it down to one no no no. what's going on and so sometimes that can be chaotic <laughs> yeah. and then um yeah i i have ni in my blast and in sleep so i'm double activated on ni so i'm hitting it twice so it's like <laughs> like a weird like i'm also kind of an ij <laughs> yeah yeah you're like a you're like a hybrid of everything you're like a ej ep ij you know it's like a weird combination of a bunch of stuff. Um, so because I'm you're, awesome. No, yeah. I'm no, because you're an EJEP, um, do you have a little bit of like don't control me bro syndrome? Like hey, you don't you don't like it when people tell you what to do and, and stuff, you know? Um a little bit a little bit of that or not really? Yeah, I I guess it could if I don't feel like I can trust the authority, then it's like okay. And then that's when I just want to be in charge. But um, <laughs> I also, like the DE side of me really does like to kind of be told what to do, but I like want to be like upper middle management. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so somebody who I respect, like, sure, you can tell me what to do, but then like, I'll take care of it from there. Don't keep hovering. That would drive me crazy. And don't try to tell me exactly how to do it. Like I can figure it out. I'm very capable. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so they said that you know EJs like to um, see where they are in like the the, the tribe spectrum. So like um, does that mean like uh, as a do, do you do, for you is there like a part of you that craves status then? Like you want to climb that ladder and like make your way to the top. Um. um. Because you just said you want to be middle management or upper management, right? So that, that, yeah, that, it's just right because, away that. yeah, okay. So there's a part of me that just wants to be respected and lead by example. But then there's another part of me that's like, okay, I'll take charge. That's no problem. If nobody else wants to lead, I definitely will. That's fine. But I don't really, um, I'm not like I'm power hungry or really, um, I, I guess. I guess I'm aware of the spectrum. Um, not that much. It doesn't, I'm not that competitive. That's the other thing. You're not competitive. So, EJs are supposed to be. Not really. Right? No? Okay. I think it's a weird, maybe it's a DE weird problem. Like, I just don't. <laughs> I don't want to be on top, but I want to um, ha have some weight. So do, do you prefer to be like, 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 you know, like the boss role or like the, or, or like the support role? Um, okay. I guess I kind of want to be the boss, but I want to like work my way up. You know what I mean? So like want I want to, to learn it properly and slowly and like put in my time a little bit so that I'm respected by the others. And then I want to be the obvious choice. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, what, uh, what, uh, what, 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 uh, what, what is your field of work, by the way? I, well, I stay home with my kids right now, but I used to do, you know, customer service and public relations stuff. 
Uh, I also went to art school and I didn't finish my graphic design degree because it was that time. Um, remember in 2007 when everything crashed? Yeah. Yeah. I couldn't get another student loan. <laughs> oh man, that, that's horrible. It's okay. I'm almost finished with it. So if I wanted to go back, I could, but I mean, I learned a lot. It was great design school. Um, I have an associate still, so. Is that something you want to do? Like go back and finish, finish it up or? I mean, we've talked about it. I have options. I'm not that driven right now because our kids are still, you know, little-ish. Yeah. So I'm happy where I'm at. I like how you're like an EP. You're like, yeah, I have options, you know. <laughs> There's a lot of options. There's a lot of options. It's true. Yeah, I talk about a lot of options. Um, let's talk about your sleep. So you are sleep third. Um, it's yeah. N-I-F-L. Um, I what, like that hobby. Yeah. What's your experience with using sleep? I mean, that's my creative mode, you know? That is where I process things, and it's also where I draw, or I'll create stories, or I'll, um, yeah. I mean, sometimes it's solving problems too, but from the inside out. Um, it's just a very vivid inner world. And yeah, I'm energy dumb, so I have to sleep process every so often throughout the day. If I'm just constantly doing things all the time, it's like the world comes at me too fast if I don't get to sleep process. I don't know how else to explain it. So in some ways, it actually helps me more with my identity too, because it, it just grounds me a little more. So you're, you're good at like expending the energy, but then you know when to hit the brakes and you're like, oh, time to, yeah. rest. Time to chill and rest. And uh, yeah, I also li listen to my body a lot if I feel like, oh, like stupid stuff, like I'm thirsty or I'm hungry, but like also if like this aches or I noticed this problem, let's get extra vitamins, let's get extra rest and let's catch it before it's a problem. You know what I mean? And I've noticed that sometimes um, other people don't really, I don't know, listen to their body sometimes. And I've noticed that as an energy dom, that's what I do. Okay, I see, I see, that's interesting. So maybe if you were like an info dom, um, it would be harder for you to listen to your body because then you won't know what your energy level, levels are like. You don't know how you feel at, that, at the moment, but you seem to be more aware because of that sleep. Um, yeah. Or sleep. Um, it's a let's, great talk, thing. let's talk about your consume last. Like, do you have trouble like like listening to people or like getting gathering information? <laughs> sure. I just no. I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> um, no. Uh, usually, I led the conver questions or the conversation, so I really want to know. In fact, like especially play energy. That's where I get a lot of my information. And then uh, consume last is more um, narrowed. You know what I mean? So I'm already play, blast, and then I sleep processed it. So now I know what to do when I um, consume. And it's more just like uh, picky. <laughs> it's just really picky. <laughs> and then I just am like protective of my time too. So, okay, now I'm going to read this book because of this. Or now I should buy this thing because this person said it was great. So I need to research that. And sometimes I really am like extremely introverted when I have to do the consume stuff. Um, I'm just like, don't bother me. <laughs> gotcha. But um, yeah, I also am like kind of a slow learner sometimes. It, take, it takes a little longer for me to learn certain things that I'm not really interested in. And that's like a consume last thing. And then, you know, that's what my tidal waves look like that consume last like something brand new hit me in the face and I wasn't ready for it and now I don't know what to do so some of my life patterns have been like yeah kind of how Dave has described it I mean not the same thing but you know what I mean when he was saying like um he drove by a school and everybody's at a dance and he didn't know oh <laughs> it's kind God. of like it's an extreme, like, I didn't get the memo kind of situation. Right. Okay. Yeah. Like, you're, you're almost, like, blind and obvious because, like, you didn't have to, like, look. It's not as bad because I grew up, you know, but it's my fear. You know what I mean? My fear is that everybody had got the memo and knows something, and I missed out because it was stu stupid email that I just didn't read. You know what I mean? 
Yeah, exactly. Like, or it was all over the news or something, and like he just didn't didn't read it. Right. Oh man, actually, there was one day where everybody was supposed to wear masks. Like, it the thing changed, and um, I think it was Joey who told me, like, oh yeah, we're all wearing masks at the grocery store, and I was like, how did I not know this? Yeah. <laughs> and I didn't, I didn't flub up or anything, but it was like a weird. Re, re, re. <laughs> I, I think the cool thing though is that like thank thank God you're play first because then at least the tribe will tell you stuff, right? Yes. Like, banging everyone's heads all the time. So I know. That's also where like, okay, now I know what movie to go see because they're all going to see it. Now I know what this then and, and so like the worst thing I could do is get be disconnected from the tribe because that's when I was like, okay, so I actually have to consume all the things no I don't want to do all of them that's just but people really do they sit around and they <sighs> no disrespect I love my consume high friends I love them I need them I want them to do some of the consume for me I appreciate it <laughs> yeah some of our discord friends have been awesome too actually yeah, anyway I sorry I want, to, I want to ask you about that. How did you get into like objective personality to begin with? And like, how did you end up in like a big like pack of discord people like who watches like, like all the, you know, all the, <laughs> like, there's a big gang of yeah. them. Right? Well, I, a recurring pattern is I get into a hobby and then I find a tribe to hang out with over and over again. That's just what I do. Right. So, um, I was actually working on a story I was writing, which is a hobby of mine. And the main character was wrong, so I had to, like, dig in and be like, great, I messed up her, you know, essentially, you know, to write a proper hero's journey, you have to, like, put them in a place where they have to basically freak out and then figure out what to do and go through their whole kind of, like, hero's journey, and so I messed hers up because I gave her EJ problems and she wasn't an EJ. Oh, <laughs> So you were projecting yourself into the character almost. Yes. And halfway through, I'm like, this is all wrong. I don't know what to do. I've wrecked this. I'm not sure how to. So then I like clicked on different videos. Like, okay, let's see if I can just kind of figure out her personality in a different way. And I found Lee Jo, actually, because she's an INTJ. And I kind of thought that was my character's type. Yeah. And she kept talking about objective personality. And then I hummed and hawed and then I joined the class <laughs> and I don't regret it. It's awesome. So then after like, I joined the Facebook group right before I was typed, which is really interesting. Right so type, sorry. yeah, right before. So I didn't do any, like, again, this is also like consume last stuff. Like I didn't submit a video for people to try to type me like, I missed out on some of those like bonding experiences. So I was just some <laughs> newbie. Um, and it was Joey, good old Joey, who uh, invited me to hang out on the Discord. Um, and it was a little bit into quarantine. So I was already starved for like interaction. And yeah. he was like collecting people, which is awesome. He collected so many great people. So I met Dave of all people through Discord. And then Anessa and I were in a writing group and she, so we got to be closer friends and Ami Lee was awesome. And then, um, we had, so there's Sadet, um, Amaret also. And then oh, I'm missing. Oh, Rob, of course. My other EJ friend. Yeah. He's blast last, which is kind of fun. Cause one of my brothers is also blast last. So he's kind of like my brother. But. And then Peter, who you already interviewed, who's awesome. And yeah, there's a whole, what's, what's, what's the other guy's name? Uh, I'm forgetting, the ENFP guy. Prim, Prim. No, no, Prim's the ENFP. Nurture. Prim's the ENF, ENTP. No, the, the, the ENFP guy, what's his name? The, the guy from Europe? Peter? Peter. Oh yeah, Peter, yeah, Peter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, uh, okay. Cause I, I remember I went through a gauntlet where I interviewed a bunch of, of like your, your, your gang. Cause I was like. Yeah. yeah. Like, well, it just was like quarantine, you know, you get to ping back and forth from people. And actually we learned a ton. We learned so much by having like other different personalities triangulate 
and ping back and forth and like, okay, so this is T, this isn't T. Oh, this is SI, this is not SI. Okay, how is SI like SE? Anyway, it's yeah. boring for you, but it's so fun. <laughs> I think when Peter said that, like, you guys, like, watch my YouTube videos together, I was like, I, I thought I was like, yeah. I was really touched. I was like, oh, I didn't even know people, like, watch my YouTube videos, like, like, together, you know, like, it's like a TV show. It's yeah, like, oh. we tried to make a meme of you, too. Oh, really? It didn't what's, work, but it was still fun. What's my meme? <laughs> I'm curious now. No, it was supposed to be, like, you know, like, that face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I didn't know I had a meme. That's crazy. I want to see it. Um, no, I didn't. I don't think it worked. We oh, it tried. Work. It wasn't. It wasn't the right amount of pixels or something. Um, let's talk about your FI. Your FI last. It's fourth. Um, it's it's. Feminine. Nah, we don't need to talk. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's your experience like with that feminine FI? Like, um, you know, you said that it's very tender. Um, so talk talk about yeah. yeah talk about your feminine FI. Um, well, it's just funny because I kind of see myself as like a person with the tribe, like with my people. So that's how I kind of like see, saw myself for a long time until I realized when I'm not with the people, who am I really? And that's really what the FI is. Right. If I'm alone, what am I really like? And, um, yeah, having it be feminine, it's really like, um, Okay, so sometimes I see my NI as like a boat that has trouble changing directions. And my husband's is feminine NI, and it is like a four-wheeler. Yeah. And it can just change directions all over the place. But that's actually how I see my FI, too, where it can just, I mean, sure, I have a favorite color. And there are different um, values that are, you know, unchanging. But a lot of things, like... I just could go either way or I want to try something new or maybe I'll change my mind. Um, my values are not shaky in like very definite ways. Like I'll always have the same like faith and I'll always love my person, my husband. And I'm very, very loyal to my family, but like, Yeah, this is hard to explain. Um, I'm just saying that like, it's kind of, it's floaty. And so it's hard to even nail down what I want and how I should stand up for it because it's already like, I don't know. <laughs> and yeah. then it, if anybody wants to do something more, it's so easy to just compromise and do what they want to do. But the more I do that, the more I lose myself, which I didn't realize till it got to be kind of a bigger issue, you know? And then if I have friends surrounding me that look out for my FI, I don't have to, but that's irresponsible. And that's not what I'm supposed to do. I have to really kind of dig deep and know myself. And to do that, I have to be alone. And I have to like set aside time for that. And I have to really go after things that I actually really want to do. And yeah, that's hard to, um, it's not solid, it's movable. So it's really hard to, um, I could fight for everyone in my life. Tooth and nail, hard, real hard, but I, it's hard to fight for my own self. It's so weird. Um, you said that you need to work on that FI before the problem gets too big. So what, what, what did you mean that the problem gets too big when, when you said that earlier? Like, like if, if you don't mind um, elaborating. It's like, kind of like, so it started out as kind of like, I, okay, if you get this done, then you get to do this. If you get this done, you, you know, there's a carrot at the end of every task I do. And then there was never time to do it. And part of that was like my fault where I just didn't make it a priority. But, you know, being a mom, my time is really divided a lot anyway. So it's hard to really fit in time for yourself without feeling totally selfish. It's just like the weirdest thing. So the more I put off what I wanted to do, hobbies, reading, just, just plain silence alone, 
it just became a backlog of things that I needed to process, emotions that I needed to like let out of their cage, you know? And um, I just felt like I was only who I really am with a group. I didn't know who I was alone. And it just seemed like a really scary thing. And it's just, it's a toxic thing, but it's, um, I'm not explaining it very well. I'm really sorry. <laughs> no, 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 it's good. No, no, it's good. You're, you're doing good, actually. Keep, keep going. Don't okay. stop. You're, you're, you're okay. getting Okay, okay, cool. Okay, we're good. Okay, so. You're getting to it. You're getting to it. Keep going. Don't stop. So, so I got to the point where there were things, you know, decider things. Yeah. Of that were just too big to bear anymore because I didn't have the right footing to stand on when it was just me, you know? And so then there was some like, I don't know, I'm just using OP terms, tribe stuff that happened and I couldn't save everyone and I couldn't protect them from what happened and I blamed myself. And then the more alone I was, the more, um, Yeah, I just started to kind of hate myself because I didn't have that time to invest in myself. So who am I if I'm not investing in myself? Just a shell of a person. But um, I, I'm not a quitter and I realized what I needed to do and I did go to therapy and I, he, he's so smart. You know, he told me I needed to read books about myself and about how to navigate this consume less and he told me to read to spend time 15 minutes before bed every day or read about myself or about what's going on so it was just all these different self-growth books or navigating your emotions or dealing with family problems um and uh i mean how awesome is that <laughs> that's like the ideal thing right somebody comes in the dark and helps you like go through well, it's crazy the person doesn't know about op, but they knew that that's what like what that was what was missing about you. Yes. Uh, and uh, well, they're definitely a real professional. But um, so when you were spending time by yourself and uh, you're working on your FI, mm -hmm. did you discover anything about yourself that like that maybe you didn't know before, but now you have a more awareness of because you've been spending some time kind of processing your feelings and and, and whatnot. Um, <laughs> this sounds so weird, but I just, um, I decided that I'm really proud of myself for everything that I've had to go through and for the life choices that I've chosen. And I started giving myself validation and, um, seeing myself as someone who, others could respect and that others could see that maybe they could learn. Yeah. Maybe this is a little blasty, but like <laughs> others seeing, seeing myself that what I've learned and what I could go through that I have gone through and that, that I'm a strong person that, um, that other people could learn from me too. And I could be an encouragement to them that they can do it also, that they can go through, you know, the darkness, the hard times and find themselves and be proud of themselves and love themselves and give themselves their own validation cookies, I guess, <laughs> you know? How did you feel when you gave yourself validation? Uh, I felt stupid at first, but I just really looked myself in the mirror and I um, did like, positive affirmations and sometimes I would just do it to almost counteract the negative because yeah. your brain can be a very vicious place and you know everything that you've ever done wrong and you can beat yourself up and that's not what needs to happen for for me anyway for feminine enough I guess do you, um do you find that you beat yourself up I, I thought everyone did. 
Oh, I, and so I learned that I needed to counteract um, the negative. And um, yeah. And then I chose that I am, I'm the director of my ship. I'm the tribe leader and I have choices going forward and I, I can make them for myself and for my family. And I didn't, I don't know. I mean, I guess I still really like validation, but I don't need it. I can be my whole self all the time. I, I think people who beat themselves up, I don't think it's an EJ thing. I think it's like a person thing. Okay. Um, I thought it was an everybody thing. Okay. Um, I, I don't beat myself up, but like um, my, my girlfriend does. And uh, so like, and she's, she's self about tribe and she beats herself up. Right. And she needs tribe validation too. So, right. and so I, I, I was talking to my girlfriend about it. I'm like, I'm like, why are you hypercritical with yourself? Like, like, like what's your relationship with yourself? Like for me, cause like for me, my relationship with myself is like, Kendrick is my, is my homie, you know, he's my bro. Nice. Like, I don't I like I, it. I, I never beat myself up. I always think to myself, like if I do make fun of, I, I make fun of myself, but I don't like, beat yeah. myself up. like I'll go up like, Hey man, what are you doing? You're being an idiot. You know, I'm like, yeah, I know. <laughs> I, I know. Obviously. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. But like the double decider, or wait. Yeah. The double decider thing. Right. Well, yes, but you know, like I, for me, I'm like, when I see Kendrick, like Kendrick's my bro, you know, like I, <laughs> he's not like someone I'm like, Hey, I'm going to lecture you. But like when my right. girlfriend, she, she kind of like her relationship with herself, it's like, it's like, Hey, you were wrong. You know, you shouldn't have done that. Like there's like, oh, sh like, you know, finger, finger pointing. So, um, that's why I was kind of curious, like, okay, what, what about you? How do you, how do you talk to yourself? Like, what is your relationship with yourself? And if, if it's too much, I, you know, you don't have to go to, into detail, but uh, you know, I'm just kind of curious to see what like that self-talk is um, inside. Uh, you have NF sleep too, right? So it's a lot, a lot of like, um, you know, it's, it's abstract values uh, when you have that yeah. with yourself. So what, what is that self-talk that, that what, what kind of self-talk would you like to have with yourself? I guess I want to. I, wanna... um, I mean, there are times where I need to kind of, Wake up, Savannah. You knew better. You shouldn't be doing this. Or I have to tell myself, okay, now you need to do this. And now you need to do that. Now you need to do this. And then you get something like, I mean, it, it could be an M&M. &M. It could be a brick. It could be like reading a book. It could be talking to your friends, you know, but it's like um, a reward for doing things. And then, no, I know you mean that. I was just going to cover that first because yeah, the negative part of me can get real dark. It can be, you could have done better, you could have done this, and then it has gotten to like, I hate myself, and I don't, I have to stop myself right away and say something kind as well, because I don't. I, I, I think I'm an okay, I'm, I'm a pretty decent person, and I'm someone that can be, I think so. I think I'm someone people could look up to. Um, and so I need to treat myself with respect. So I would just be like, no, you know what? You could have done better. Um, but <laughs> you're doing all right. And then I'll kind of say, say that I'm an intelligent person, that I make good decisions, and that I have integrity and strength. And then I kind of, sometimes I'll give myself sensory like examples of where I've gone done well and um yeah i think it's really important to love yourself even if you're kind of <laughs> hey you wake up <laughs> you could have done better <laughs> yeah well to tony robbins pulled it off right so and he has yeah. kind of an fi but um I, my question was more like what is the tone that you want to talk to yourself like what is the tone because right now it sounds like you're using mte on yourself right like masculine te on yourself but what, what, what tone would you like instead? Like, do you, do you want like a softer tone when you talk to yourself? Like, yeah. like, like, or like how, how do you want your relationship with Savannah to be like, do you want it to be like, like your bros or, or like your buddies or like your sisters, or is it like mom to daughter? Or is it like, like, what is, like, what is your, I guess I kind of still see my feminine FI as like a little girl. So I have to be kind to her, but I almost feel like I'm trying to help her grow up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I want to strengthen that part of myself. So sometimes I have to be really gentle and use encouragement and kind of words. Like, you're doing great. You look good. <laughs> so it, it sounds like to me that 
right now the relationship with yourself is like you're the mom and you're trying to parent um you know the little savannah um, yeah but for so, now that's what it is so that's i the, hope that it'll get better so that's the current relationship but like what do you want the relationship to be eventually do you want it to stay as parent to child or do you want it to be like sisters or do you want it to be like sure. friends friends sister sounds great that sister. would be really nice okay so you want savannah to be your sister like your close sister that you can like you know confide secrets to like have that like sister chat you know i mean you fight sometimes too but it's, it's, it's that funny. Funny. no i'm just kidding yeah, yeah i'm just I, playing to myself yeah no that's that's good that's good that's very like fi no that's good that's good <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. That's why I was curious about when I when I asked asked that question. It's like, okay, who do you want? So that now you got it, you got it clear, which is awesome. Like, Savannah wants to be sisters with Savannah. Like, you want to have that sister relationship. Yeah. So it's That'd not like, it's not like one person is like like the dominant one, and the other person is like the, the yeah yeah. But it's like equal. It's like you know, kind of like goofy. You know, making fun. <laughs> of people, You know. Yeah. yeah. And then I can laugh at my own jokes, and no one thinks it's weird because it's just sister stuff yeah exactly yeah you have the inside <laughs> joke you have the inside joke going yeah exactly yeah all right savannah so i have two last questions for you and we'll wrap up the interview um okay. so the the first one is what advice can you give to fellow entjs with feminine fi to help improve themselves like work on that like feminine fi so that they don't hate themselves but instead they can have that you know that like yeah sister if, if it's a girl you know sister relationship or if it's a boy mm -hmm. like you know, brother they're like brothers or bros uh so what advice can you give okay um slow down you matter so much you need to you need to take care of yourself so you need to schedule in your day um time for yourself time for things that you love time for things that you care about i'm not talking about the people you care about I'm talking about the things inside that matter the most. And yes, you carve out so much time for everyone and you really could genuinely help everyone in your entire life, but you need to fill your own cup too. And you need to take care of yourself so that you can be the best person that you can possibly. So schedule the time into your day, even if it's just little increments, because over time that will make a huge difference in who you are and you'll be just so solid from the inside out. Um, and I'm not talking about once every month, <laughs> not talking about binging every day, and I'm not talking about um, only on weekends because even those just become a, a lost time. You want it to be important and you were important. So you need to make time for yourself. And I highly encourage you to do it before you have a crash because it's a really dark place and you don't want to do it. So you can do it. I believe in you. Even if it seems like it's unfeasible, like I have, I have no idea all the things that you have to do, you don't. Trust me, I know you can make time for yourself. So do it, you can. <laughs> There you go. That's awesome. That's very <laughs> NF. I like it. Uh, no, it, it, it's fantastic. Um, and um, my last question for you, usually I ask like the people that I interview, if you have any questions about like functions that you don't have like NE or, or um, SI. Um, but if you don't have any questions about that, I'll ask you about something else. So do you have any questions about NE or, or SI, like functions that you don't have? No. no? My dad's a me. My mom's SI. Yeah. Okay. I, I figured that. I, <laughs> my intuition told me that you, you didn't. But um, so I'm my Ooh, last question. Good work. What's that? I said good work. You know that I've been interviewing you like for almost an hour now, and um, I just noticed that you kind of look like um, Stephanie McMahon. You know, like like um, the, the the you know the the, the WWE, the uh, Vince McMahon, like the the CEO of the, the wrestling company. I don't know if you have brothers or sisters that used to watch wrestling or like. But uh, anyway, there's like there's the the the, C, the the daughter of the CEO is like okay, I'll look her up. I don't like, know because I'm looking at you right now. I'm like, oh my god, your face stru um, structure kind of looks similar. Yeah, yeah. So, so my my last question to you then is um is more visual. So you're visual and you're tester. So what's your experience with being a visual and tester before we wrap this up? Um. Okay. So 
I, yeah, I've always knew, known that I had a visual mind. Um, and I feel like sometimes it slows me down because I can't really think in terms of like, like words just kind of spin around. They don't always, but pictures. So my memory will play back like a video. And um, I, I knew that about myself because my dad is like that as well. And so we would talk about it when I was a kid. And then when my brother, who also, my younger brother, who also was visual, he used to like take a snapshot of his textbook in, my, in his mind. And then he'd do much better on tests. So that's when like we just trade um, how we would work. Um, I'm trying to think of how to explain it. Um, it, it's annoying though, because as far as recall goes, it's really hard to just remember the exact thing because sometimes like, I mean, if I'm trying to think of you, like I, I've said your name enough where I know your name, but like, I'll just think your face and I'll, I won't always come up with the right sensory name because that's like the masculine and I takes over and it's just, it's just an idea and it's, um, and then, I don't know. It's kind of cool though, because memories can come back to me as if I'm there. So I can like see every color, remember what the person's shirt was wearing when that thing happened. Um, and um, what else? Yeah. Um, it also helps in art. So a lot of people in art, in art different fields in art are visual right so sometimes when they do challenges like when i was in art school they would have you draw what you see in your mind and then you actually can train that muscle even more so wow so i can visualize things a lot better i think maybe even than um some other people just because i've had to practice um, yeah, well, it's like vivid colors. I don't know. <laughs> no worries. No, that's a good uh, description. But uh, what about being a tester? Like, do you like to experiment with like different food or like try different stuff out? Yeah, I love it. I'll take I'll take a recipe, but then I'll just alter it and just try little bits of everything and smell it. And um, yeah, I don't know. Sometimes, like, my husband thinks it's so funny that like. I'll forget to set a timer for cookies, but I always know when they're ready because of how they smell. <laughs> Sorry, maybe that's not a tester thing, but it's kind of funny. Yeah. Um, the tester thing. Yeah, I mean, even just if I'm like planning, playing a game or learning something new, it's like I have to try it out to really learn it. You can try to explain it to me and I'm just like, but if I just learn it by trying, it's just easy. So I, I don't know. I like to try a lot of new things. If there's a new flavor of this or a new kind of that, oh, I guess that's more at OE. Yeah, I don't know. No, it's good. It's, no, it's good. It's a good explanation, so don't worry. Um, I learned to knit that way too, just by trying it a few different times. And then I got it. <laughs> got it. I, I, it seems like your explanation was very SE, like test, tester for SE, because I noticed that tester SI is very different, but. Uh, it's good to hear kind of like the SE version of tester. And yeah, I think you described it pretty well. Oh, um, nice. So Savannah, thanks again for doing the interview. And uh, thanks for coming out. I know, you know it took a lot of courage for you to do it. And I really appreciate that. I think that's awesome that you took the time to, to do it. It was uh, fun to get to know you, Kendrick. It would have been more fun to, <laughs> you know, not just talk about me, but you know. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, no I, I'm, I'm having to finally talk to you because like you're so active in the like, Facebook group and like the different groups and like you're friends with like some people that I talk to and then and so, and then like but like your name it gets popped up and I'm like I've never interacted with her once you know so it's it's nice to <laughs> to finally talk to you you know <laughs> cool thanks all right so, um bye everyone <laughs> <laughs>